Hi, it's Jeannie Nadia, and I'm back again with another styling tip. So um, today I'm going to talk about fresh flowers. And I typically use fresh flowers in my work, especially for, as you can see here in these images, milk baths. And so fresh flowers and milk baths, they just add um, a little bit more oomph, I think, to an image. And usually whenever you use them in a milk bath, you'll want to just chop the heads off, so like your roses, daisies, whatnot, just kind of trim them and pop them in. And sometimes I'll also take sprays of flowers and kind of like lay them across the model too, as you can see here in these images. Um, I also put in a little bit of mesh netting to help support the flowers in these. Um, every time the model moves in the milk bath, it's going to cause some of the flowers to get more water in them and sink a little bit. So as you're doing milk baths and placing flowers into the water, make sure that your model has minimal movement. That way you don't sink all the flowers that you have, otherwise you're going to need a ton of them. Which probably brings me to the other thing about fresh flowers is price. So this can range anywhere from free. If you happen to grow or pick your own, please don't steal other people's flowers. That's not cool. Um, but if you know a gardener that's happy to give you fresh blooms, awesome. Or if you can grow your own, that's a great way to save some money. Otherwise, if you're buying them, you can spend anywhere from maybe $5 a bouquet to up to $30. For me, I've spent um, $20 for bouquets of roses. $5 for baby's breath as it was cheaper. And then it depends on where you go. You can go to a florist. I usually go to a grocery store and find kind of a nice selection there. Again, I'm looking for things that are getting a one-time use, maybe two times if I'm lucky, uh, but they're just there to add a little more to my images. Another way I use them too in these photos here, I also use them for framing around the face at times. So in this image here, it's actually in a milk bath, but I clustered them around my model's head to frame. And then this other image here, uh, I was actually holding part of the bouquet and the uh, model's mother who was assisting that day, she was holding another part of the bouquet up against the model's face to kind of frame her in this shot. You can also use them, of course, as props. As you can see here in these images, I have, again, the model just holding them as a bouquet. And in another Valentine's shoot, I have a model holding a single rose. And if you look in the background, I also threw some rose petals behind her too. So again, using them to add to the background or have a model hold them in their hands, it just gives them something to do. Um, here again is the baby's breath for this, which in some later shots, I also put this down on the ground. And then finally, you can also create headpieces out of it as well. And this shot here was kind of impromptu at the end of the shoot. Uh, we clipped a couple flowers, placed them in her hair, and created this headpiece. And my model here, she's actually leaning up against my car door. And I had a piece of fabric thrown um, across the car door and just leaned her against it and just took the shot right there. So again, it's a real simple add to your photos. And it can be a very inexpensive one or you want to splurge and spend a little more money and get some nicer flowers, you can do that too. And possibilities are endless because you can purchase all kinds of colors of flowers, all kinds of types of flowers, and do whatever you want with it, right? You can have the model put them in their mouth, as I have in some images here, put them in the hair, props, very simple stuff. So again, if you're thinking of ways of changing up things, grab a bouquet of flowers and see what happens. Thanks again for listening. If you happen to create anything based on these styling tips, please share um, your imagery below in the comments. I always love to see what people come up with. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I always look forward to sharing more styling tips with all of you. All right, have a lovely week.